Hey y'all. So today, this is our third video today, all focused around the book clubs. Earlier we did one on um, fiction of, this, of, of the space elevator. We did one on uh, fact, but that fact, nonfiction was really not about the space elevator necessarily. Um, because we had shown a few people those lists, we got some feedback that says, hey, we want to know more about the elevators. So we're going to put some of that stuff in here. Uh, and, and so this, is, this will become our third book club. So uh, join us on this process. It should be a lot of fun. Um, you know, as always, thank you for watching. These are important to us. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, of course, please like, share, and subscribe. Next week, we're going to continue what we've been doing, focusing on uh, space policy, na U.S. national space policy. But we're also going to do a, several videos on Liftport's history, uh, whether it's building robots or, or space elevator history. So hopefully you'll join us for that next week. Um, Moving into our playlist, I said a minute ago, we actually expanded the book club section to three. So this, this one's really focused on the more technical aspects of building both an Earth elevator and the lunar space elevator infrastructure. Um, you know, if ultimately this is what we want to build, there's a lot of stuff that has to happen along the way. So uh, this, is our, this is our list. The, the complete list of books we're going to we're going to be tackling over the course of the next few months. Um, I hope that you see that there's some connections there, uh, where where a piece of knowledge should layer on to another piece of knowledge. So um, that's the whole list. If you're feeling particularly ambitious, um, the technical list is not as long as the nonfiction and fictions. Uh, uh, mostly because these are pretty hard to get through. These are, uh, none, none of these documents are particularly easy. Um, and, and that's okay, right? You know, we said earlier uh, in, other, in the first two videos, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle these about every three to six weeks or so, uh, and we'll let you know when we're gonna meet and, uh, and have this conversation about these, these books. But this is the complete list. And uh, while I am fascinated by this topic, uh, some of this is gonna be pretty hard to get through. So I'd love to get your comments and feedback on this. Um, we talk all the time about hardware business outreach and framework. Uh, this, this set of books pretty much doesn't talk about business, but lots of hardware, lots of outreach, and lots of framework, okay? Um, so the first two books are really kind of a pair. Uh, they both deal with uh, international policy, uh, the United States' international policy towards the rest of the world. Um, and who we are as a nation that, for better or for worse, is projecting power out into the world using space assets. So uh, I've only known uh, uh, Josh Carlson for a little while, but he's pretty darn articulate, pretty interesting guy. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading this. It's uh, supposed to be eye-opening. Eye uh, it comes highly recommended from a couple different folks whose opinion I, I, I respect. So um, uh, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting read, and I think we've got something really special planned uh, relating to this book, uh, Space Power Ascendant, and then this uh, I won't say companion book because they're pretty different, um, but Security and Stability. Uh, in the new space age, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty heady book. Also, um, uh, Dr. Townsend is uh, again a pretty smart guy with you know really interesting um, uh, academic and professional credentials. Um, 
with the pair of these two books, we've got something pretty special lined up. So I'm pretty excited about what we do with these. So um, please jump into them and then join us on this particular adventure. I, I think it's going to be, uh, I, I think it's going to be eye-opening. Uh, Dr. Swan's book is also eye-opening from a very different perspective. This is an honest-to-God space elevator textbook. Uh, the International Space Elevator Consortium has been around publishing for many, many, many years. Uh, I really encourage you to go to isec.org as, as an organization. Uh, Swan and the rest of his team have really been pushing the idea of space elevators for a long time. Uh, and you know when Liftport, the, when the first company of Liftport crashed back in 2007, uh, it was folks like this in Japan, in Europe, and and in California, that really stepped in to kind of fill this space elevator gap, if you will. So hats off to them for for kind of continuing and in many cases pioneering new knowledge regarding both the earth elevator uh, especially the earth elevator and to a lesser degree the lunar elevator but uh, pretty interesting stuff here uh, and it's free uh, so you can order it directly from there you can download it directly from their uh, from their site I think there's a paid version um, at Lulu, but and the link the link is there also. But uh, if you want a hard bo hard cover book, um, and then this this one is uh, it's part of our look into federal policy. Now this is just one document. We're actually going to put together a compendium of five or six documents that really showcase. Uh, American space policy, American space strategy. Uh, and, and these are not necessarily books, but they're pretty thick PDFs, again free, that uh, showcase like what America is trying to do in space. And so the conversation is going to be, you know, how do these documents affect what we're trying to do building an elevator? How do these documents affect what other people are trying to do with space-based solar power? What other people are trying to do with uh, uh, in-orbit uh, tug systems, uh, transportation systems? Uh, these policy documents basically write the rules in which we have to operate. So uh, uh, we'll post all of those. You can just download them from our site directly. Um, and then finally, a primer on tethers. You're, how do these things work? What is the history of them? Um, and uh, uh, Michael, uh, Dr. Van Pelt, he's, uh, he's a professor at, um, well, actually, I'm not even sure where he is now, but he used to be a professor at Delft Technical University uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, he wrote this several years ago, but what's really great is it's got a history of tether development. So it's kind of a primer. And, uh, you know, again, uh, from the last video, I kind of wrestled with the order of these particular books. But... Uh, uh, I think this one is a good summary document. So um, that's our that's our five. We didn't pick seven because, like I said, these are these are, some of these are pretty tough reads. Um, but now it's your turn. Like this is what we're doing. We're gonna we're committing to read the, reading these documents, these books, and sharing with you. So what we want you to do is sign up on our website. Just go to liftport.com in the far right hand corner. There's a link to the get involved section. Find the books, find the, the, the newsletters that you want to sign up for so you get notified when we're going to have events around the books. You know, read them or not. Read them or not, right? This isn't, this isn't the high school literature. Uh, nobody's going to get in trouble for not doing their homework. But uh, we, what, we, what we really want you to do, what, we're, what makes this a fun social experiment is we want you to participate. So we will set up events. We will virtually you know, meet you in your living room 
and we'll talk about the books just like you would in a normal in a normal book club. So uh, that's what we're doing. I'd love to have any comments or feedback. That would be great. And uh, as always, please like and share and subscribe. If this is the kind of thing you're interested in, uh, it's a safe bet that you have friends that would also be interested. So I know the, the book clubs are not everybody's thing, but if they are your thing, please tell your friends because I think this could be a really fun uh, adventure to go on together. So um, if you like what you're seeing, please you know take a look at some of our other playlists. We've got a lot of interesting stuff here. Uh, thanks very much. I appreciate your, your interest in what we're doing. Have a great week.